welcome back to my huge channel everybody today i'm filming a pickup video there are a few things i assembled uh, in the last i think one two three months actually it's been a while i haven't done a pickup video uh, if you like my videos the previous ones the ones i am filming usually don't forget to subscribe or follow me on instagram or be part of the discord chat which is actually pretty fun where everybody is sharing like more personal stuff and where I'm also daily active, so it's it's pretty interesting. So don't forget to subscribe. I think I'm seeing slightly that we're growing and I'm super happy and very grateful for this. But well, let's come to more important things in life, such as clothing and spending money and being a victim of consumerism, because that's at the very end what we are. All of us fashion fans, I'm very sorry. Um, that's just what we are. Like, we're not strong enough. We're not strong enough to say we don't care how we look like everybody watching this video cares about their looks or the aesthetic but it's the beautiful thing you know we could have been poets we could have been writers but we chose um clothing and i think that's okay i think it's okay to dress well because it's also nice for other people uh, that they finally have people that dress well around them um, I picked some pieces and despite popular belief, it's not only women's wear, it's also men's wear. I also have some men's wear pieces, actually like, yeah, pretty, pretty cool men's wear pieces. I have different categories. I have cardigans and sweaters. I have pants. I have coat. I have coat, uh, a coat, shoes and accessories. So everything to complete a perfect look. I'm going to start with the sweaters or cardigans because that's kind of makes the most sense. Like that's how I start to dress myself. So if you are a lucky child and live in a capital of any country in the world, you probably have access to sample sales or to any kind of sales that like quarterly, yearly happens and you just buy clothes. I just moved to Paris, like it's been a year actually, and this is honestly something I'm benefiting of. I'm in a honeypot of fashion and there I will give you some clues of what you can do. Uh, first of all, if you're not in Paris or London or New York or get yourself a tandem partner, pretend you want to learn more about books, that you're actually reading books, and then use this person as a tool to have access to sample sales. In Paris there's a thing, a brand or whatever called uh, Aletid. It reminds me a bit of Bon Privé, but it's like it's it's local, so it's a physical place, and they always have one brand like for two or three days. If you remember, so you pay like 60 euros per year. You have like pre access a day earlier, which I don't do, and then the next two days you have access. And sometimes, if it's of course a popular brand like Jill Zander, Magella, Marnie, or whatever, there is a queue. There is a queue. And sometimes I also just don't have nice things because I feel like it's really the rest of the rest sometimes. But I will show you some pieces that I got from there. Nevertheless, I found amazing alternatives. Of course, these pieces are maybe one-to-one -one hard to catch, but I found amazing pieces on Vestia Collective. I think you should also call me Tuba Collective because I think I spent half of my lifetime on this website. Um, and you know what I do? I just write the brand. I have no categories. That's how deep I'm digging. I have no categories. I don't even write my shoe size. Like, I'm insane and I'm sure there are many insane people out there too. I don't want to be judged. And I have this thing for finding old archives like runway pieces. I just bought, it's unbelievable, for 100 euros, um, a Marc Jacobs for Louis Vuitton, his last fall collection. I think it was fall 2013, a pant. And just very unimportant side fact, there was one cover of Emma Watson. I was honestly never an Emma Watson fan, but there was a cover of Emma Watson. I think it's L'Officiel or Apas Bazaar or whatever. And she's wearing this blazer and I just fell, fell in love with it like crazy. And I never found it. I think honestly it never went into retail, I believe. I don't know. But I found the pant, which is actually more accessible for me, of course, because I found the blazer too after 15 years, uh, 10 years. Uh, I found the pant of it, so I bought the pant of it. Now I can do it. Anyway, let's not talk too much. We're speaking. So despite the Aleti say where you can um, log in, and I think I heard from somebody in Germany because I, I referred it to a friend, that they said they don't have access to the website. So it might be a VPN thing. If it's a VPN thing, just, just trick it, please, and buy it and send it to somebody. I don't know ask me and you can send it here i don't mind just get just get your stuff because sometimes they do have online sales as well last time i think it was Ghani this weekend before that sergio rossi so maybe not the most interesting brands but 
sometimes they had shirts too yeah yeah not the interesting ones exactly um there is another there's an outlet center outside of paris that i discovered pretty late and i had the chance to go there a few weeks ago and i was really not expecting to get anything because i'm used to outlets and i know that they always have shitty stuff or like it's still way too expensive for being like three years old and not the interesting three years old you know not not the interesting stuff i found this amazing piece here from miu miu at prada this is i think a fall 2020 piece it was the last size the last anything the price was well it was a good price it's a good price and honestly i think i like it even more than the current collection that they have because it's like super thick one thing though you need to like wool um and it, it feels like it's mohair or angora i don't think it's angora because i think it's forbidden now it feels like mohair you need to be a wool girl like in best case when you wear this cardigan you are a sheep that's the only way how this cannot hurt you i'm almost bleeding that's how much it hurts um but i'm not really happy with the current Mew Mew quality i went into the stores it gave me very much bershka college look stuff like honestly to be very honest i was shocked and this is something i was not expecting of prada like i'm literally shocked i have a lot of pieces from like the um, 2010s you know like 16 17 collection etc impeccable quality always like this one for example it's fall 22 Maybe it's because Raf isn't a new Mew Mew involved. Um, I think it's also being styled by Lotso Volkova. Um, honestly, I think she has a big impact on making it cool. I will try it on as well, so you will see it here in the background. Um, I just love the buttons. They're like the but. Oh, sorry. The buttons look like they're. Yeah, I mean they're like metallic, a bit shiny. I love this also, and I'm not a big vintage fan. Huh? Like if you know me, you know I I don't like a vintage look. Uh, I just like it if it's well copied and more modernized and this is just very very cute. I love the pattern. It is slightly cropped which is very good because if you have watched my last video you know we're not wearing um, super long stuff anymore. Oversized things are apparently dead. I cannot um, adapt that to my pants and coats but I can adapt that on my uh, sweaters. I do have some things from COS as well so you should stay here for this. So one piece uh, I got was Miu Miu and another piece I got is from Prada and it's this sweater. Isn't it? Okay, here you see it. It's beautiful. It's a little beauty out here. She's crying for attention. She's like, okay, it's amazing. I got this one and let me check because this looks very much like a 2021 piece. Uh, it's made in Italy and it says, what is it? Yeah. It's 2021, you see from the collection, they had like these similar patterns back then. They had the jackets as well. I think the jackets were like 2K. Honestly, if you're really into it, it's an okay price. You have a go from me. If you ask me, you have a go. Because uh, I think it's like, honestly, Prada coats are being worn forever and they have amazing quality. Will we ever find out what is in this coat? I'm not 100% I'm not sure. It's 69% virgin wool, 29% cashmere and 2% uh, polyamide. Um, I just love the neckline. And you know what? I do, why I think I deserved it. And I found similar ones. I link everything down below so you can have a look. I found similar ones for everything. Um, I just think it's a great alternative for my many unicorn cashmere sweaters and I'm always a person who says like never buy one thing in several colors like I just don't like it like always prefer a different fit if it's even if it's a different shade I think the Uniqlo cashmere sweater of course because of it's just one of the very rare items like SKUs I own in different colors uh, so I wanted to have something different and I just figured this comes very close um, to my cashmere sweaters uh, again, you will see it here. I think I was a bit concerned about this uh, triangle in the back because as you might know, it's a new uh, logo reference uh, since Raph Simmons is a bit, uh, with Mama Mucha on board. Uh, I don't mind it. I do think it's slightly big. I do believe it's slightly big. But I think many people don't know what it is, so it's okay. Uh, is it necessary? It's not. I think it's a cute style feature. It's okay. It's not it's not bothering me so I think this is super cute I can wear it so easily all the time with everything that I own so it's amazing 
another piece I bought and uh, like sweater pieces that I love and sorry I don't have like this thing to, to get all the dust and stuff away and I don't even have pads it's embarrassing actually so these were my um, outlet pieces that I had from Prada I would still recommend you to go there um, I don't know if you come to Paris it's you can do a two three hour trip there I go there by train it's just like an hour away it's absolutely fine uh, you can do it instead of shopping maybe at Galerie Lafayette and just looking around. I did buy this beautiful sweater from Kos. It's like a cropped v-neck. It's pretty thick. Uh, you can definitely wear it as an amazing uh, winter uh, pullover. It's, I was going to say made in Stockholm, but that's just the address of Kos, my dears. It's 100% wool, which is amazing. Of course, it's made in China. Um, it's super soft, I have to say, for being wool, it's the exact opposite of my Miu Miu um, sweater. It's very soft, it's beautiful, uh, I like to wear it. I have still a few high waist pants, which I absolutely hate now, because I'm like, I've been a low waist girl always, like not low, low, like Britney Spears low, but I just, according to my body type, it just looks more pleasing to my eye. Uh, and I just love to wear this sweater with uh, low waist pants. I have another wool pan from Jazana, which this goes really well with. So this is one thing I picked up. Another thing I picked up is this jersey. Uh, it doesn't look extremely remarkable or anything. It's like it's not slightly. It is see-through. I think I even wore it in a video two weeks, um, like not the previous one, but that one before. Uh, I think this is wool too. It feels very much like wool. 100% uh, lana. Uh, it's beautiful. It makes such a beautiful body for every body type. I have a friend who has it as well. We have very different body types. It looks amazing. It looks very chic. And since I'm not a going out top person, I sometimes prefer stuff like this uh, because it just goes with everything. Again, I wear like, as always, like my wool pants with it. And you're like still dressed. You're clothed, you have clothing on your shoulders, but I wear like a little bralette underneath and it's very interesting. Um, and I love it, I love it. I think I got it in a size small uh, because I wanted it to fit well. Is it a small? No, it's an extra small. It's very stretchy, so apparently you can go smaller. Yeah, it's an extra small. And for the sweater, I took large. Just FYI, this is a large. Then I bought a menswear piece. Uh, from cause and this yeah here you will see the problem I have with it because it takes a lot of dust it's a menswear wool pants and I think nobody recognized this one yet because I haven't seen it on anybody I buy a size 44 or 46 when it comes to menswear pants I mean sometimes 46 is even too small because I do have hips um, but this was a 44 and pretty baggy this is I think also come on give me a hundred percent wool here it's not hundred percent wool guys okay it's actually 81% wool. I feel betrayed. I do feel betrayed. I will not give it back. It's the perfect kind of bag bagginess I've been searching for. It's super long, but I can wear it like I have shoes that it stacks up on. Um, it is wool, but it's still like, it's kind of elegant, but still casual and comfortable. I feel very well dressed in it. And it gives you like the, the, this, the row look, but better because I do think the row is also like not the mother nature of everything. So don't just look at the row lookbooks when you try to style something, but they have amazing stuff, they do have. But I do think everybody has these pieces kind of in their closet. This is a menswear pant, it's amazing. It's still, I, I will also link it below, you will see it. And uh, now we're coming uh, to Aleti actually, because um, I told you what Aleti, this uh, outlet thing, and we're coming uh, to my second pair of pants and this is it's interesting because it's a sample piece um it's a because you see here it's super funny honestly this is the only thing that proves this is a Josanna pant actually i hope it is one so it says uh, sample 2021 size 34 what kind of fabric it is i have no idea what it is i don't know but what shows you it's Josanda is the fabric and fun fact uh, somebody reached out to me in my comments because i shared it in my stories like one of the pieces and um this girl just was like yeah i'm i'm actually a fabrics designer for Josanda." and i was like what why do people have so cool professions and i'm doing this 
amazing but the quality is amazing it looks beautiful it is again this kind of stiff woven wool fabric where i'm pretty sure that jill zander is buying these like from paul series i'm 100 sure these are not typical clothing fabrics uh it's i mean it's weird that no other brand is doing it i do think it started like with jill zander if anybody has more info on that let me know but i do think it creates a beautiful silhouette um it's brown this is new for me it is a brown color but i do think we this is a trend color i kind of uh, adapted to and I think we can have some warmth as well uh, and I think it's just an amazing piece and you can find a lot of Gisanda pants again on the real real or Western collective uh, for a very good price so um, you should definitely do it so these were cardigans uh, and pants and I do have some accessories that I bought from Yokes and it's I, I mean if you know me you know me Yokes is just this melting pot of everything, like five seasonal pieces, current collection, especially now that they bought Netta Porta. Netta Porta is, I don't know, but getting smaller and smaller with their selection and creation, I feel. I feel like everything from that just switched like to yokes, which helps me to find more even funnier, ridiculous things. Like for example, these underpants. You see these underpants? Yes, it's a pair of Meso Margiela, pants and it's funny because they're super up to date um i i don't want to be that girl but i'm going to be this girl i always loved underwear as outerwear uh i have like uh, some from old prada well, it's weird to say old prada but like 2015 prada i have one from dries van noten i have even valentino ones and everybody thought i'm weird but thanks to a lot of all cover and uh, mew mew we know it's not this is funny because this is spring summer 2019 what I love about this one is that it has like an it's like super thick wool outside and inside you have like this diaper this little diaper inside to show nothing and then you have like these little buttons here on top I think it's pretty cute and then the typical stitching that will probably make Martin Magella die if he is allowed to speak about it because it's absolutely not what he ever intended with these stitches uh, i wore this actually i wore this outside and it was not really intended but i was invited luckily enough to the vaquera show here in paris and i was like okay i will wear like black tights and this and just a coat over it like nobody will recognize it's really panties because as much as i say you need to be i'm always a friend a friend of extravagance or like stepping out of your comfort zone but it's a pretty hard balance to find of stepping out of your comfort zone and still being yourself and not feeling like you're wearing a costume. Like this is for me the hardest balance, but always step out of your comfort zone. Like I would say even look like you're wearing a costume for once, but don't feel too comfortable. Uh, that's what I learned from my style evolution. It's always worth to, to try something a bit different. Why is this fly here? Yes, and this uh, I can wear actually. The thing is you can really wear it like with a long pair of, um, with a coat, with not see-through tights, like super thick wool tights and boots or something, it looks amazing. And the price is amazing, so check yokes. I have linked stuff like this down below. They're ima amazing alternatives. I also found stuff on the outnet where I'm like, go for it, it's amazing. Another thing I found, uh, I was made fun of. I was called a clown, I was called Meister Papa are these gloves here ladies and gentlemen did i buy them for the color yes is this the reason why i made being fun of yes why i tell you why i told tell you why because you can look like you're cleaning you know? it looks like i'm just going to my toilet and doing a good brush you know you know what i would do it uh, anyway these are the most the softest gloves i think i ever touched these are also Margiela and I also bought these at Yolks. They also have this logo here on the hand. I don't know how necessary that is, but maybe it's cute. I don't know. It's a size small and I think they're pretty current. Like they have this glove, but like in human shades like brown and black, I think right now um, on their website. I of course bought it for way less. I, found, I clicked the um, link them down below. I do believe since I wear usually like super dark shades, well, super dark, I mean like black and navy usually when it's outerwear. Um, I think this can be funny like to wrap it on your arms and have a handbag and this is already a look you know because sometimes I just for example I wear this cos pant I wear the Gisana coat that I bought which is menswear I will show you 
Oh no, I spoiled it anyway. And I will just wear these and maybe like with the, uh, I have this uh, white Calvin Klein 25 Bar West um, 39 New York City Graph Simmons bag. I think it can be a cool icebreaker kind of um, to make it easy for ourselves to stand out, to reflect your own personality uh, with a very easy accessory, which aren't earrings or one clay jewelry. Okay, these were my accessories. Then I have, I have, I have, I have a pair of shoes, which I am truly immensely, extremely in love with. And um, the thing is with designer shoes, I have to say it's very hard to find a pair that is beautiful and comfortable. Very rare, very, 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 very rare. And all these girls saying, yeah, red bottoms are super comfortable. You're lying, like you are lying. And anyway, I found these ones, this beautiful Mary Jane, which doesn't look too 70s because this is absolutely not what I would have wanted. It's like a Mary Jane X cowboy shoe, in my opinion. Uh, it is from the last um, winter collection. They also did it in spring again. Uh, I got these for the half for half price on Yolks, and they still have them in gray. Uh, I link them below. But just one thing, just one thing, they're amazing. It's I would I would love to write a song about these shoes. I would love to write a poem. It's they are so crazy comfortable. Honestly, I've never experienced something like this. Even my friends are like, and for me this is not even a crazy height. But you're in town all day. We have wobbly grounds, like it's always raining, it's not comfortable. Um, they just look amazing. I love how sharp they are and I don't like the cowboy look on, on other boots. And here we have it like very minimal here with the heel. Uh, I think they're amazing. I also have male friends who wanted to have them. So if you are wearing tubby boots, for example, already with a little heel, as a guy wear these, like this is fucking insane. Like these are insane. and. They are so well made, like they're stitched, it's not glued, you know, it's a proper stitched shoe. Uh, sometimes it just looks like it, uh, but it's not. They're made in Italy. I wear 39, they're true to size. Um, you do have some space, which is great because you have this, so you can fix it. I love the me metallics here. This shoe, honestly, I think if I would not have found it, I mean, I would not have known. But now with this knowledge, I would even get it full price because it looks amazing with everything. It's upgrading every look that I have. Um, and um, I just love it. And I think it's really one of these staple shoes that I've been searching for for a very long time. I was very surprised that I saw it at Yolks. I know they have them in several other colors, uh, in gray, I believe, and you should get them. They're amazing. And coming to the last piece, I believe, uh, it's a menswear piece. And this is the, the, another menswear piece I've been talking about that I also got from the Jill Zander sample sale. Um, I will do it like, oh my God, it's so protective. Uh, no, I've been searching for a really good wool coat for three years. I don't know. I honestly was still wearing my Dries van Noten, but I think my Dries van Noten coat is now like six years old and I cannot see it anymore. I tried everything. I had friends who bought this TikTok viral double-breasted uh, coat from COS and I do have to say yes for the price it has an amazing quality uh, comparing to the ones from Frankie Shop like the ones from Frankie Shop are really not it so if you're thinking of buying anything from there honestly rethink it like you will find amazing pieces on Yolks, the Outnet, the Real Real I don't know where but it's really not worth it they have the store here I think they have another one in New York um, not worth it absolutely not so I've been working, uh, searching for a very heavy coat. This is the epitome of heavy. Funny thing, this is a sample piece and never made it to the market. The, and when I bought it, there were actually like, like little pins inside. I think it's also not the perfect version that they wanted to sell it for. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you just need to know, like sometimes a lot of fashion pieces make it like, they look like they're perfectly tailored, made. They're about to get into the market and then they just fail because they don't fit into the portfolio of the collection or whatever. And it's even, the thing is, um, you see the retail prices, of course, I think this is like a, it's the oldest it can be, it can be a 2020 code, but you see that they have like hand stitched lining. And again, Gisanda, you're amazing. Like this, this team, 
the way they work. Um, retail price was very, 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 very high. And I just checked online because I was actually not that aware of it, but I feel like all code prices are just rising so immensely and I don't know what to think about it. I would not have bought this if it would not have been like one fifth of the original price, which was still a lot. I need to get it tailored. Um, but um, despite the oversize is that belief, I think when it comes to coats, it will always look more chic, more interesting, more elevated for me to have just like a proper amount of fabric around me. Um, this is a coat. I don't want to have a double breasted coat anymore. That's also um, why a lot of coats on the market are kind of not my style anymore. You know, double breasted is also also dead by the way like um and i'm okay with this to be dead because i've been wearing double breasted i think since i was 17 or something and it gives me nice shoulders it gives me a bit of grandpa look but i think it's fine I, and i think um with like boots just and my wool equipment that i have right now it will be a perfect perfect on top coat um so as i said um check out online i'm sure this kind of stuff especially since it's like Pieces that you cannot easily recognize as like it pieces or anything on Vestia Collective are usually going for way less than they should go. And people are just letting go of it because I know, I know it as well. I know this feeling. You just want something to be sold, so you sell it. But um, yeah, you should definitely look at Jill Zander menswear pieces. I will tag them down below because I know that um, some of you are still interested in it. But that's my cardigan, sweater, underwear, glove, um, pants, uh, coat pickup uh, thing. Uh, I hope that you liked it. I always try to find like the best quality, honestly, for the best price. And um, I do have some cost pieces always in my wardrobe. But whenever I have the chance to get something of impeccable co quality like Jill Zander or also here Margiela, for example, I do try to get many pieces and I usually have a long wear out of them. Let me know down below what you got yourself during this time because I do think I need some little tweaks. I would need a good pair of boots like on, please if you know a good pair of black boots with a heel without a heel honestly I don't even care anymore but with a heel would be great. Let me know I'm desperate and when I say desperate I'm like desperados Des desperate. Um, just let me know what you have and if I can steal your ideas and um, we're cool. And don't forget to subscribe again. I'm really, really grateful uh, if you do this because it shows how much you love me and how, what kind of affectionate person you are and that you're amazing. Uh, follow the Discord. The Discord channel link is in the info box and my Instagram as well. And now you can watch my next video. Love you, bye.